What up, familia? How's everyone doing today? All right, you get a little bit of me. So if you look over my shoulder, that was the quilt that we had made for the Japtex 85th anniversary. I'm gonna give you a close up of that. And we got a lot to show you. This is my piece of art, picture of China. Don't look, don't look at anything till I tell you. So here we go, let's see. Anybody here? There you go, hi Jill Watson. So this is the Jaftex 85th anniversary quilt. I think we're nearing in on our 90th, believe it or not. So what we did, I don't know if I discussed this with you already. It's pretty awesome. My grandfather had this amazing scrapbook that he kept. So what we did is we made two different fabrics. One was um, a digital print of all the, um, a lot of the different images in the book. So that's a picture of my grandfather. These are some pictures from eons ago and then we had a second fabric that we used so this was our office let's see if it has a year usually my grandfather had a year on it but if you go up close you could see it says let's see if i could get my finger on it j a fortunoff so that's Jaftex. j a jacob a fortunoff Jaftex. so that's our company so we did two fabrics. One had a lot of different of the pictures from uh, his scrapbook. And then the other one was this one that we use on the border. And this has all the names of all the companies that we've had over the years. So we've had 17 different companies. I think it's 18 now that we have uh, Free Spirit. And this is Jacob, the famous Jacob A. Fortunoff, Jaftex, as you all know. Yes, family is very important. So this is uh, my grandfather. My great-grandfather is right here, and that's my grandfather, and these are his two brothers, and this is my grandfather's wife, my grandmother, my dad's mom, and then this is my grandfather with the textile Jewish mafia right here again. If you look, J.A. Fortunoff, and there he is, Jacob Fortunoff with these two characters. They just look like they came out of a uh, mafia movie. So here's a more recent one. Let me see. Get my selfie stick working. There's one where Greg, Dad, and I, we all had our beards. Hi, Lynette. And then here is Jacob Jaftex Fortunoff. And there's an awesome one down here. This one is very cool. This one is my grandfather as a kid. And if you look down here, really close. You see that? See what year that says? 1915. You believe that? So this is my grandpa, Everett. He died, it's probably 10 years ago already, but I did have a nice, uh, enjoyable time working with him. This is cool. My grandfather wrote all these funny things. David, December 1936, drive to Miami in David Hirsch's deceased father's Chrysler Fluid Drive Imperial. Uh, here, here we are on the racing strip and Daytona Beach on the way to Miami. Check it out. How cool is this? Hi, Amy Caldwell. So, and then here, these are my boys, Aaron and Breddy. And then there's one of Breddy and I. And let me show you one of Greg and his kids. I don't want to neglect him because he's doing all the hard work for all of us. So there he is. Um, and then you could see all these different cool things. But that's for another day. So today I have so much cool stuff to show you. And I'm going to start here. Let's see if I can get my selfie stick going. So... All right, so a lot, hopefully many of you were with me over the last couple days. I'm gonna show you some lines and some things we have. So this is the Just Color line. I think I showed you this when I was at the warehouse, but this has, as it says up in the corner, 36 colors, pattern 1351, and these are all the colors. It's a nice swirl. It's great to be used for hair. We carry this all the time as a basic. So that's one. Then, we have the peppered cotton. So let's see if we could get you a good zoom in on this. So these are the peppered cottons that we've been talking about. So these are shot cottons. And as I had told you, uh, this is where the warp and the weft, so those are the threads going in the different directions, are different colors. So let's see if there's one really good one. So if you look at this one right here, this one is morning glory. You see it's purple and blue together. So I could pull a little thread off the side and you see I picked some purple off, and then it's mixed with blue, which looks like this. So it has a really nice contrast, 
uh, when we designed this line, Pepper was adamant that the hand was not as she hoped, so we kept going back to the mill. And again, these are made in India. So there you have it, these are the colors. So we have a color number on these, and then we also have a color name. So Pepper and Megan, our lead stylist, Megan is our lead stylist for Studio E. Megan Downer, she um, and Pepper come up with all the names. So there you have it. So this is a little mini card uh, for those of you shop owners. If you need one of these, we could send you that. All right, so now I'm gonna give you some sneak peeks. So as I mentioned yesterday, we have new colors coming. So these are not even out yet. And don't get mad at me, these are just solids, it's not a print line. So these are all new colors that Pepper and Megan decided to come up with. So we have vanilla, color 46. We have a lemon ice. We have a sage, color 72, a bluebell. Miami, look how cool that one is. It's like a, it's like a purple and blue. Hopefully you guys are getting the full effect on your computers. And then we have carnation, atomic tangerine, cinnamon pink, tweed, and I guess that's tweed. So the peppered cottons are all 10 yard cuts. These are like a solid. Um, they're awesome. They, the hand is great. Everyone who quilts with them has, you know, they email me and just tell me how much they love it. So these are all the colors. I'll just flip through so you can see a bigger piece. Let's see if there's a good one that I could pull apart here. So see this, this is the selvage and you could see, see, so it's blue with the purple, look how beautiful that blue is. And these are dyed in India. So there you have them. Let's see, we got a nice red. So it's like a chambray and uh, these are great. So um, these were super popular and um, Pepper said, why don't we try 108? And we did 108. So this is the Pepper Cottons. We did these in 15 yard put ups. Uh, these are, this has nothing to do with Kafe Lynette. Um, Kafe did his before we did ours and it's just coincidence that now we own Free Spirit. So, um, but I don't think the colors are the same. In, in shot cottons, they're all very different. So on the peppered 108, these are 15 yard cuts. Usually our 108s are 18 yard cuts. When I say cuts, I mean the size of the bolt. For a quilt shop, usually the um, customers buy three yard cuts. How nice is it that I have the selfie stick? This makes it so much better. Um, so anyway, so these were the original colors. We had sand, we had pepper, we took the best colors, and then we added the stone wash. This is sweet, it's like a denim. Hopefully you guys are getting the full effect of this. And then we did the fog. These were all the really popular colors that we had in the 45 inches, the charcoal. See, we have a pattern and color number. The pattern is called the charcoal, and then we have a number, which is 14, but we put an X, meaning for extra wide. So this is aubergine, like an eggplant color, peacock, and then coffee bean. So these are out now, they've been out for a little while, and these are the new ones that are coming. So the new ones will be out for sale um, this summer in July. So um, for all you quilt shop owners that are watching, yes, the selfie stick is awesome. All you quilt shop owners that are watching, these are coming, so you gotta get involved with these. This is aluminum, this is a new one, 60X. Let's see, green tea, 22X. Uh, ink, 45. Ooh, whoa. Not good. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Selfie stick issue. Ooh, not good. All right, we're back. Sorry, wow. That must have really, uh, that must have really hurt. But let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on. Hang on. Come on, selfie stick, cooperate with me. Come on. Oh no, and I was just, I totally jinxed it. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. Rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while recording. Oh, this is so annoying. All right, so I guess this is how it's gonna have to be. I'm sorry. Yes, I do need a GoPro. Hopefully, come on, come with me. All right. Bad news, I got a bail on this, sorry. Eesh. Oh, when in doubt, you gotta just wing it. That's annoying. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, so I'm gonna stick with Studio E, and this thing, I'm gonna have to return that to the store. The selfie stick, sorry. Now you get back. Everyone should take a Dramamine or have a drink, sit down, 
I'm sorry. All right, we're going to do better now. All right, so now, sne speaking of sneak peeks, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of a new Studio E line. So I, I should have said in the beginning, I started with the Studio E. So the Just Colors from Studio E, the Peppered Cottons are for Studio E. I'm sorry that you guys are dizzy. Um, all right, two by two. So this is a new line by Pam Baca. It was awesome. Pam Baca was at the quilt market and she came to visit me. So this is our color card and this is how we show it. I'm going to stick to this direction uh, on the wide angle instead of doing it narrow. Hi, Philip Jacobs. Um, so down here on the bottom, we put the skew count, 12 skews and two. That means it ships in February of next year. So I'm teaching you a little inside scoop. We also put that on the inside. So when the customer is looking at the card, they could see it and it's facing their direction. And then we put it on the top corner and this is in reverse so the rep could see it. So if the rep is sitting on the other side, it's easy for them to see and they can write an order. If the customer orders a full collection, they could write 12 SKUs, ships in February. And here we go, so check this out. So this is two by two by Pam Baco. Fun stuff, yeah, we got the slots in there and all the hot animals of this week. But as I mentioned yesterday to someone else, uh, you know, the elephant, the dogs, the cats, those aren't going away. So this one is really cute. I don't know if this is for the people that are watching, but this is a 36 inch panel, which is really great and functional because you could just uh, throw something on the back and throw a little batting in there and you're good to go. One other thing I want to tell you guys. So when our reps go in, we also put our basics on the card too. So this is really uh, helpful for the shop owner. They want to say, hey, um, I like that line. I, is there a solid that goes with it? And we have it right here. So that is not part of the collection. So when I said in the beginning it was 12 SKUs and it ships in February, we do not include the peppered cottons. So here we go. Two by two by Pam Baco. Cute monkeys. Nice little rainbow. There's your sloth and your llama. And maybe by the time this line ships, those animals will not be cool anymore. But let's hope that they are for a little bit longer, at least till we get out of here. So, oh. Oh, this sucks now that I have to use this. So on the back, what we do sometimes is we show a blown up version because a lot of the times the cards, um, the items are reduced. Oh, I want to show you one other thing. We also write the repeat size on here, which is helpful. A lot of the shop owners like to see that. So then on the back, then we have a free project. So this one's using the panel. And then we delineate how many, if you want to make a kit, see right here. One kit, six kits, 12 kits. So if a shop brings it in and they want to kit it, it tells them everything they need and they know how to order. And then on the back, we have a little bio for the designer. All right, on to the next. So yesterday, um, when I was at the plant, I told you guys about Sandra Mag Salmon. She is an author and she does books like this. So you see the ears are coming, the antlers are coming out of the back. This one. She does it with the moon. So Sandra Maxim is, is, Mag Seven is a well-known um, author. And then here, so these are the books I'm gonna show you. So this is how it is. So you see, it's not just your regular fabric book. It has the star coming out of the back. So, uh, well, that one fell on the floor. So here's another one. Boo, I love you. And it has the hat and the hat just goes right on the back and you read this cute little story. And this is what I call, I call these books on steroids. I think my fingers are in the way. Um, all right, so, and then it says up here, it says made with love. And then on the back, it says made with love for, so you could put in the person's name that you make it for. All right, I'm gonna breeze through these. We have a snowman one with the hat. And then this is, all this is a 36 inch panel. Everything is on the 36 inch panel. So it's a nice, easy gift. You buy the one yard. And it's all there. You have the little lion. I'm wild about you. I mean, her, her things are so clever. We did a, a uh, harvest one or Thanksgiving one. And this one is, I'd love to gobble you up. And then what she also did was these awesome, this was actually probably the best of all. She did these trick-or-treating bags and they have the ears. How cute. Who loves you? Lo who, sorry, who loves Halloween? Can't read today. And then this one says, boo to you. And these are so fun. Easy to make, you follow the instructions, everything is right there. You go by your yard, you go home. So here are some new ones. These are sneak peeks. So this is gonna be a frog and his feet are hanging in the sky. This is a dog, the tail's gonna hang off the side. This is I Love Old McDonald's Farm with the flag. How cool is that? Patriotic. 
Up oh, here's your trendy llama, llama with his four legs. Where, where's llama mama? And here's a picture of Sandra Mag Seven. She's so cool. She comes up and visits us. Maybe I'll do an interview with her one day because she's so cool. All right, so this one is now I lay me down to sleep. With the little feet, how cute. Hi, Elizabeth Townsend Guard. Oh, this one's upside down. So this is how we offer these for sale. Um, so here's a little squirrel with the tail coming out. And then this is the, the turkey one that I showed you before. So this is how we show it. The cover's on the front, and then you see the inside. So here's the inside. So what you'll see, which is kinda, let's see if I could see it. All right, so see here in the corner, it says page one and page 10. When I started, um, the A. Nathan Company did books for Joann's Fabrics, and I didn't realize that the pages had to be numbered differently, so I corrected it so they were in order, and that was a fiasco. We ended up having to destroy all that fabric and eat the loss, but it was a good lesson. Never make that mistake again. So as I mentioned, so here's the appendage right here. So this is the stuff that you're gonna put on that's gonna hang off the back or the front or the side. And there you have it. And then here are your bags. So we show them like this. And the cool thing about the bags is you get two bags on the one yard panel. So how cool is that? See, here's the panel. So this is the one yard of fabric that you're gonna get with the two items. And then here's the straps right here and got it all there. Easy gift. All right, so you get the drift, enough of those. All right, so that's all I got for Studio E. So I'm gonna move on to Henry Glass. So yesterday, when we were at the plant, I showed you the folio line. This is our folio line by color principle, pattern 7755, okay? And this is just a nice, basic, simple leaf print. We do it in a lot of colors. So you see up here, 10 yards DR. Remember DR, guys, double enrolled, as opposed to ROT, rolled on tube. Quilt shops only, 100% cotton. Here are the colors. So it's pattern, so if you were writing an order, you'd write pattern 7755, and then you'd write the color number right next to that. So there you have it. So that's the whole card. And then on the bottom, it says 52 SKUs. So you know the total number in case a customer was so ambitious to say, hey, I wanna buy them all. So Quilt Shops, if anyone wants this card, we have tons of these, we'd love to send it to you. you could, a lot of the Quilt Shops for all you consumers, they keep books of the basic cards. So th that card has holes in it and you could keep it in one of these books and then you could match it to certain things. So here's another one. This is called Modern Melody Basics. This is another Henry Glass line. Just to focus you guys in, we're doing Henry Glass. Henry Glass was the first Quilt shop only company owned by the Fortunoffs. Then we had Studio E, then we had Blank, and now we have Free Spirit. And then we'll see who comes after that. So as I mentioned, so this is pattern uh, 1063, and here you have it. So you'd write it one pattern 10, 1063, and then you could list the colors. Color 40. Okay. So here we go. So these are all the colors, so just great blenders. One thing I want to show you is, see this one says pigment white color 01W. We sell a lot of pigment white. So these are usually good sellers. These are great for you guys to just fill space in a quilt. Um, great question. So one of the things when I got scolded at market by people for giving too much insights to the consumers, how do you get our fabrics? You go to your local quilt shop, you say, hey, I love Henry Glass. I saw their melody, their modern melody line or folio line. Can you get me these colors? And hopefully they'll get them for you. All right, so glow in the dark. I'm gonna show you a bunch of this today. I'm trying to give you guys the special stuff and not just the ordinary cotton prints. So we have glow in the dark, we have digital. Uh, what else do we have? Um, batiks, I got a whole bunch of stuff. So this is a glow in the dark line. This is chills and thrills. This is, I'm, we're still in Henry Glass, guys. This is by Shelly Kamiski. Shelly Kamiski is an illustrator. She's been with Henry Glass for a long time. She is just unbelievable. Her artwork is sick. It's really sick. I'm not telling you anything I can't tell, don't worry. And who's gonna get me in trouble? I could get in trouble with two people. Well, actually, four people. My dad, my brother, my mom, and my wife. 
and they're all cool with this. They're just happy they're not doing it. All right, so we're gonna go, I don't wanna show you the project yet. So here we go, check it out, how cool. So you got glowing, look, these candles are gonna glow. And um, as an experiment, I took some glow in the dark fabric home to give to my boys and uh, they both fell asleep watching TV and I went into the room and the glow in the dark fabric was like all over the place and it was actually, it's really glowing, it's so freaking cool. So look at this, I mean, is she an amazing illustrator? Look at that owl. This is just fun, not too scary Halloween. Look at these googly eyes. Oh my God. All right, so let's keep going. I mean, she makes it fun. This is fun, cute. I mean, how could you not want this? Spiders with the webs will glow and look at the skeletons and they're not super scary. And we're starting to do a little scary Halloween. We typically did, we're more into the fun um, but we've seen other companies are doing scary, so we're gonna get into the fray. So this is a stripe. Um, see right here, guys, remember I'm teaching about the patterns? So this one is 6976G. G is for the glow in the dark. That's how we signify it. And then, sorry, I'm gonna take you over here. See this one, PG, 6965 PG. Uh, panel, N, and um, glow, all together. Yes, in, in some cases, um, our new website, I think, might have the functionality where it tells you which shops have the specific lines because our website uh, backend is going to be connected with our uh, in inventory system. So here's a bag. Look how fun this is. Another fun bag that you could make. And again, the project instructions. And all the projects are free downloads on our website, um, except in very limited cases where we sell them, which is something that blank quilting does. So here's another quilt, and then here's another quilt. I mean, how cool is this? Love it, love it, love it. All right, so moving on from Halloween, here's Shelly Kamiski. She's so cute. And then the glow in the dark. I got a nice pile of stuff here. So here we go, next up, Christmas. You guys ready for Christmas? I'm ready for summer. So here we go, Jan Shade Beach. She has been a home run for Henry Glass. She started this, these trucks and uh, they're awesome. So we love these trucks. They sell super well. And then here we go again. So, oh, that one's just a running yardage. So this is, looks like a panel, but it's really just running yardage and there is no P. So here we go. I'm just gonna kind of breeze you through. So Holiday Wishes by Jan Shade Beach. Nice little Cardinals. Snowflakes, the trucks, people are loving those trucks. And then this is, oops, sorry, I've got a finger. And then, that's, uh, where's that finger? Oh, it's over there. Then we got our word print. We got our street lights and pine trees. And then we got this. Yes, it is a perfect time to start those holiday quilts. So in the back sometimes, we'll show you the actual scale. So in the beginning, when I said to you that was running yardage, so then down here it says block measures approximately 10 and 3 quarters by 10 and 3 quarters. So this is actual size so you could get the flavor of that. Here's the stripe. We put the stripe on the back oftentimes so you could see how many rows you're going to get because sometimes there's four rows, sometimes there's five rows, and that might affect uh, what you're doing on a project. Here's the free project, which is a quilt. Here's another free project, another quilt. And then something on Jan Shade Beach. And now you could say you met Jan Shade Beach. All right, so yesterday at the plant, you remember we were going over 108 inch wide. I told you Henry Glass does a lot of 108 inch wide. This one is like a compilation. So uh, Henry Glass has Circle Play, Breezy, Spice Paisley, Spice Pomegranate, Prairie Vine. Uh, Spice Paisley, Spice Pomegranate, and Prairie Vine are all by Kim Deal. Uh, Quilt Back Basics by Buggy Barn, or what was formerly Buggy Barn. Folio, which I told you we have in 45 inches wide and 108 inches. American Dream, and then we have Solid Colors. So here we go. So you remember yesterday, you re does this look familiar? Oh, actually two days ago. You remember I showed you these? They kind of look like a skin. So here we have it. So these say 18 yards DR, like I told you. The, pe the peppered cottons, we're doing 15s because the fabric is heavier. These we're doing in 18. So this is the breezy line. And then let's see what we got over here. So then Kim Deal. You guys know Kim Deal. You better know Kim Deal. She's she's like the bomb. So here we go. And then we have this American Dreams down here. Remember I showed you this one the other day? And then we have the, the older uh, Buggy Barn one. 
And then here we go, the folio. So here, these are the colors we selected to do in folio 108. And there you have it. I told you, it's a lot of show and tell today. And then if you didn't know, we carry solid 108. You need brighter ones. Hmm. You know what? The brighter ones don't sell as well as you might think. And we have to produce um, 2,000 on pigment prints and 3,000 on wet prints. So we wet meaning it's reactive and uses different dyes. So it's more of a little bit more expensive. So that's a lot of yards if you wanna just test out a bright and it's expensive, more expensive fabric. So, um, you know, we don't wanna load up on some odd color and have to buy 3,000 yards and, you know, my great grandkids are gonna have to be selling it. So we don't wanna do that. All right, so next up, we have yarn dyes. So this is one sister, I told you Buggy Barn. Uh, the sisters now um, went their separate ways and now we have one sister, she remained with us. And this is Janet Ray Nesbitt. So these are her yarn dyes. You guys into yarn dyes? Yes, Jill, 2,000 yards for pigment print, which is the light colors, and then 3,000 yards for the wet or reactive prints. Those are the darks, the blacks, the reds. Uh, those are tough. So here we go, this is Autumn Song. Oh, Pippin, talk about something else. We're not talking about free spirit yet. Maybe a little, not too much. But Philip Jacobs, we'll have to talk to him about backing. That's for another day. We're doing it New York style, not Charlotte style. All right, so let's see who's a real quilter. How long you've been around for? Do you remember In the Pink? In the Pink was the first ever line that we had that sold a million dollars. Is that crazy? A million dollars for one line. This is the quilt. We still have it. I could open it up. I don't have any help here. No one wanted to be on the video. Everyone was scared to come on with me, but I don't know, this doesn't really make me that nervous, even though I, at one point in my life, hated speaking in public. So, when I went to law school, I had a, like a moot court thing where we were arguing, and I really was not prepared. And the two teachers that were doing the questioning were grilling me, and I was like reclaimed. I couldn't even speak. It was horrible. Ever since then, it's been tough to speak in public, but I am over it now. I embraced it, I forced myself to do it, and in fact, tomorrow night, I'm gonna be speaking at a local quilt guild, which is pretty cool. All right, so the follow-up to In the Pink is Tickled Pink. So this is by Janet Ray Nesbitt. And if it worked, why not try something similar again? So let's see. So here you have it. There you go. Let's see. So, I'm gonna just move you right along here. <laughs> oh, stop it, Barbara Reich Turner. All right. Here we go. Oh, so she adds yarn dyes in with her line. So she mixes those into the quilts, which is really nice. We got some afternoon snack. And the egg diet metabolism is kicking in tomorrow. Friday's the big weigh-in. Going to see how much I lost. I will tell you that my pants are falling off, so that's a good sign. This is Janet Ray Nesbitt. Okay. All right, so that's the Henry Glass. What do I want to do next? I'll do an easy one. So as you know, when I first started, I started with A. Nathan. Uh, maybe you don't know that, but I trained under a gentleman named Don Edwards. He had been in the business for many years at many um, big textile companies, and he came here, and he worked for about a year, and then he retired. Um, let's see. No, not all yarn dyes are always played, I don't think. Okay. Pippin, private message me about dinner. All right, let's stay focused here, guys. Let's stay on subject. Um, we could private message me about dinners and quilt guilds and stuff like that. So this is the A. Nathan flannel. This is the single ply flannel. Do you remember yesterday I told you Henry Glass and Studio E and Blank, they use the two ply flannel, which is the beef, we call it, it's like beefy and luscious and really yummy. And when you feel it, you, you really feel there, it's substantial. So this is the A. Nathan flannel line. This is the single ply flannel, lower price, you know, and less construction. So less construction equals lower price, the more, the more yarns and threads that go into it, the more expensive. So these are the prints that we have. 
Um, how do we make these color charts? I, um, I lay out the cards. Uh, actually, I, I, they used to be more complicated. They always had fabric, but then we started printing them. So we just lay them out and we have a company that prints the cards for us. So these are SKUs. I mean, this, this cloud print has been around a hundred years. It's been around camo. You know, we have a lot of basic stuff. This is really reasonably priced. We have this blender. So this is like a tonal. Okay. And back in the day, A. Nathan used to sell a lot to the chains. We're really doing a lot less. These flannels, you might find them in about maybe a hundred different Walmarts. Hobby Lobby has some of our flannels. These, like specifically, they have these three for sure. I think they have this dot, they have the purple one, they have the cat, they have this. Um, but there are plenty that are not in the chains. So if you're a quilt shop and you don't want to compete with the chain, that's totally fine. But to be honest, that that old stuff, the old complaining about the stuff being in the chains, it really is not the same as it used to be. The chains are converting a lot more goods on their own. So this page, if you look here, guys, you see the N. That signifies to our people who enter this into the system that the line is licensed so that they know that they have to um, associate a licensed designer and pay a royalty with that. Yes, Trina. Hi, Trina. Trina is our sales rep for Studio Ian Blank and A. Nathan. She's in Utah, and she is saying that they make the, the best baby quilts, burp cloths, receiving blankets. We sell a ton in Utah. When I first started in business, uh, the phone kept ringing, and I started to notice 801 and 435. Um, they kept calling. Those are the area codes for Utah. So they were all Walmart stores, and I decided, hey, I'm gonna go visit Utah and go to all the stores. And this was one of those things that was like a life changer for my business. Um, this is like when I went to visit CAFE, this is a decision that I look back upon and will say, wow, I'm so glad that I did that. Um, you know, right now, Brendan and I are talking on text all the time. CAFE's not big on the phone, but Brendan and I talk on text and he got me on WhatsApp. We talk all the time. I mean, even Philip, you know, I, I really am enjoying this. It's not just about business people. It's relationships. It's for the long haul. As I told you, um, we're working hard, getting ready, getting free spirit ready, getting shipping. We're working hard, but we're not thinking about today. We're thinking about three years from now and four years from now and stuff like that. Okay, so let's just talk here. So these, um, and then once again, I want to thank you all for your patience. We are working our hardest to get the fabric out. Um, a lot of things, you know, new things we're discovering all the time. For example, uh, we are shipping now to Free Spirit customers in Canada. We just learned the other day that our regular credit card system doesn't use that. So we learn, we deal, we adjust, and you know, we embrace, we, we can't hide. We deal with problems. Problems is what you need to worry about. So these are all new. These were the new ones that we added this year, really cute. And then we have some yarn dyed flannels. These were produced in India. So here you go. It's starting to get hot again. And then on the back, we have solids. So, so we have the price, as I mentioned before, on the 108, we have pigment and reactive. The pigment is less expensive than the reactive. So we have to price the solids differently. Up here, we have the pastels. These are pigment printed. White, ivory, uh, maize, blue, pink. And then you get to the dark and bright colors. Those need to be surcharged because it's a different process. It's a different dye that's more expensive. So then in this row, here, check it out. So we have 108 inch wide flannels. This is still the single ply. And uh, these are 18 yard bolts, but we do have a lot of solid colors. And then in the far column, we have extra wide flannel. And uh, this is a blender. So this is like a tonal. All right, so you got A. Nathan, here's the book. Here's the book, A. Nathan, address, like us on Facebook. All right, what's next? All right, so let me start going around the room because I think this is this will be fun this way. All right, so we just went out with new lines for at the quilt market. So this is the, the May release. As I've told you many times, we have new lines in January, April for the May quilt market. So those are new then. And then we have new lines in July and then we have new lines in October for that quilt market. And then Henry Glass and Free Spirit also have new lines in, um, excuse me, in March as well. So this one is called Nature Walk, and this is very cool, love this. Um, but here, this is the color card, 
and I'll show you that print on the top. But these are things you would see on a nature walk and it's done in blue. You should see this position I'm in right now. I can't hold it or I'm gonna rip my pants. So look how sweet this is. This indigo blue, love these feathers. And these are supposed to be little pebbles. Look at this beautiful floral. But look at this, this is really sweet. I'm sure you guys could come up with great ideas of how to work with this, so nice. And